Hello, welcome back, welcome back. We've just entered the flat and someone's banging on the door. So let's take a look. Fucking hell. Hello. Jesus Christ. Hello. Are you Kate? I've been sent by the agency. My name is Rita Tickle. May I come in, please? Oh, Jesus Christ. Agency? What agency? The Happy Nanny Babysitter's Agency, of course. We bring fun and professionalism into childminding at a discount price. May I come in, please? Wait, just hang on a second. I believe we have an appointment. It was confirmed by post. Didn't you get a letter? Oh, God, I hate hang her. Hang on, I said. I'm sorry. The position has already been taken. Oh, great. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Thanks for your time. See ya. Wait, wait, wait. There must have been some kind of mix-up. No, there wasn't a mix-up. You're just too late. Bye. I'd better call the office and find out what happened. Christ. So, um, our kitchen looks sparked and clean. Books, books, books and toys. Pictures, that, all of the pictures are empty. Rex, his face missing on each of them. Exactly. Uh, window, can I open them? Nope. That is a big ass TV. Oh god. Can I choke slam the baby? Give it the people's elbow. Photos and scissors. Let's take the scissors. Now let's use the scissors on the baby. Uh, let's see what else is there. Ah, fair enough. So, was it my friend at the door? No. Just some door-to-door -door salesman. Well, I hope you told them to go to hell. Trump. I honestly don't know what these people are thinking. Think yeah, me neither. Well, it's just their job. I'm sure it's Kate this time. I'll let her in if you'll excuse me for a minute. Wait! Jesus. I think I've got something in my eye. Right. I can't touch my eye. I'll need some help to get it out. You'll be fine. Just go back to the bathroom and use one of my cotton buds. For an eye? Don't Are be you such mental? a baby, Mitzi. Wow, she's getting really, um... I'm feeling really sick all of a sudden. Oh. Do you think you're actually going to throw up? Yes, definitely. Oh, yes. Quickly go back to the bathroom. I don't mean to be rude, but this is a very expensive carpet. Will you come with me? Please. What if I faint? Oh, fuck off. I, I'm scared. Everything's just spinning around. Can Mrs. Ashworth go with you for a change? It's okay. I'll answer the door and let your friend in, yeah? Well... Fine. I'll put Alyssa in her bed for a minute and I'll come with you. That'll teach you to always wash your hands after using the toilet. No. It's you. Again. Hello. Is this flat number eight? Jesus Christ. How My name is Rita Tickle. From the Happy Nanny Agency. May I come in, please? I've told you already. You're too late. You have? 
Oh, I thought fuck. I got the wrong door last time. Fuck me. It's the right door. I was looking for a nanny, but I'm not anymore. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is painful. Yeah. You were looking for a nanny. Oh, I have God. 10 years experience and training in child discipline techniques and behavioural psychology. Also, I am known for good personal hygiene, strong work ethics, and I only take one break every five hours. Well, how long was that Just break? Just to use the restroom. Wow, that sounds really great. But I'd like you to go away now. You don't need a nanny. No, I don't need nope. a fucking nanny. I've decided to give my baby up for adoption. <sighs> You're an evil person. Jesus. You'll go to hell for doing that to your baby. Oh, God. Yeah. I've already been to hell. They don't want me there. Okay. So now what? Uh, oh, I've got some scissors that I can cut the cable with. These scissors seem sharp enough. Let's create some diversion. I hope this is what Mitzi had in mind. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Okay. See you later. Bye. Bye. Oh, not that again. What happened to the lights? I'm... I'm terrified of the dark. I, 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 I can't move. Oh god. Can't breathe. Calm down. It's alright. Probably just that stupid meter. It must have run out of money again. It's not even that dark. Please. You've got to do something about it. I'm oh going to faint. She's actually really annoying. I wouldn't even hire her now after Fine, all of it. Just stay in my bedroom. There'll still be plenty of sunlight there at this time of the day. I'll go outside and put some money on the meter. It'll only take a minute. I wouldn't hire this person. <sighs> right. Let's do it. Is that you, Mrs. Ashworth? What happened? Um, no idea. Maybe it's a blackout, like in the old days. It's probably just the meter. Let me see. So it's not her either. What a waste of time. It's time to leave. This interview is over. But why would anyone do that? I think we're going to go now. This whole power cut gave me a terrible headache. Is that you, Mitzi? But we haven't finished yet. Have you changed your mind oh, about the no, job? Oh, no, of course not. I'm just scared of darkness. And I still feel sick, you know. Perhaps we can continue some other time. Oh. I've had it. I'm getting a new fuse box. Was that you, Jesse? Yeah. How are you doing, Pauline? Well, I we need the power back. Can you do something? Yeah, I can easily fix that. There's an electrical store that's open till late. I'll get some stuff and I'll be back before you know it. Bear in mind it's not just the fuse box, it's the cable this time. I'll get a new cable too, don't worry. But in the meantime, go home, find some candles and chill, yeah? Thanks, Jesse. That's awfully nice. It looks like an alien. Well, it was great seeing you. But we're going to leave now. Hello. Oh, fuck off. Who's that? My name is Rita Tickle. Rita who? What the hell is going on here? Do you know this woman, Mrs. Ashworth? I've never seen her before in all my life.
Now she'll think we are absolutely crazy. I wouldn't worry too much. You're not exactly the most popular neighbor in the house anyway. It doesn't seem like anybody is. Thanks. What? You don't actually care what those idiots think, do you? No. Of course not. It's just that Pauline seems all right. I'm not too proud of causing her all this trouble. It'll get fixed soon. Look, Jesse's gone out. We can now get inside flat seven and see what he's been up to. Okay. Yeah. That sounds good. We can also cross Pauline off the list. I've searched through her internet history, and needless to say, there's nothing exciting there. Just Brazilian fart porn. And German Scheiser movies. Now that he's gone, we can get inside? Yes, let's do that. Hmm. I'll close my eyes and you pick that lock, Mitzi. Okay, but no peeking. I'd never. You've really hurt my feelings now. Yeah, what a shame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now close them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, my ass. Right, well, I'm going There. Gonna... Job done. I'll be back later. Oh, Jesus, the are these... Oh, just masks, probably. Relax, Mrs. A. They're just yeah. Halloween masks. Oh, good. That's good. Because I swear, if I see another bloody head... Oh, well. I'll be back shortly. Hello. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, it's been so long since I've done this. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's it's been a while since I've played this. I've been doing some some stuff. Oh yeah, that's right. Some idiot cut the power. Um, didn't we have a... Yes, we did. Cool. So, who's got windows over this side of the building? Well, Joe Davis lives right below. I guess we could also check one flat below Joe's. I just hope the cable's long enough. Let's find out, shall we? Uh, so let's go. I got, uh, what floor? We're on the fourth floor, obviously. Using my amazing powers of deduction. the second floor then. Can't go that way. Down we go, down we go. So yes, it's been a while, I've been doing doing some other things. Um, yeah, I've been doing some other things. Uh, I have been playing some Mortal Kombat. Uh, I mean, I'm somewhat of a uh, somewhat of a completionist. 
Um, so I've been playing Mortal Kombat 9. And one of the things to do on that game is to uh, master every right. cat. I should be able to use that computer now. Could you give me five minutes, Mrs. A? Sure. Why not? Master. I'll keep an eye on the door. God damn it. Master every fighter, which is a considerable amount of time, about 500 hours worth. Um, but I thought I'd record something in the meantime because I haven't done anything in a while. It's not him either. God damn it! Alright, calm down. Oh, spooky. Maybe it was me all along. Um, ground floor. Let's move that mouse cursor out of the way as soon as possible. I've only just realised it's still on screen. Oh, okay, it's not supposed to be on screen at all. Uh, okay, that's annoying. There we go. That's much more better. That's much better, I should say. Not much more better. That's not English. That's much better. Uh, right there, now we're in the basement. And we've got the dress, we've got the, the paint. Scissors, Mitzi, mask. Okay, so what do we need? Paint. Well, basically, we need three things. Got that. Red paint. We've got it already. Got that. The dress will make a great costume. We just need it in black. Also, it should look de I'll need some scissors. And a mask, so we got that. We got this all of it. mask, I... Cool, so if I get the scissors. We need to make some adjustments. Now this is a dress worthy of the Cat Widow. <laughs> Why don't you admit it was too small for you? That's a bit harsh. Ha ha, bloody ha. Why don't you just shut up? Jesus. Whoever wore this dress probably hadn't eaten in years. You'd struggle to get a skeleton into it. Spooky. This is it. We've got all we need. Great. Are you going to tell me about the cat widow now? Yes. It's story time, Mitzi. That was a really weird way. The legend says there was once a bad man who hated cats. If he hated cats, he can't he be that bad. He hated his neighbours too, and his job. And when it rained, he'd curse and smash things. He hated his bald head and his weak, ugly body. He probably hated himself the most, although he would never <sighs> admit it. I think I see where this is going. One day, out of pure hatred for the whole world and everything that lives, he captured a family of cats and drowned them all in the river. That day, the sun turned black and all the birds went silent as the six kittens struggled for life. Mm -hmm. But trapped in a strong canvas bag, they never had a chance. They all died that day, all but one. The mother cat, in a desperate fight to set herself free, by pure luck, clawed her way out of the bag and Shh. swam to the shore. She lost everything that day. Her beautiful children and her proud husband. Her heart crashed into pieces as she watched their limp dead bodies stolen by the current. Running after them, she followed them for days, for as long as she could. Then... Eventually, she lost sight of them. She stayed on the bank of the river for a while. The world stopped turning for her. 
her eyes empty and blind. And then, one day, she slowly slid down the bank and into the cold, dark water. She gave in to it. She let the river take her away too, cover her mouth, her ears, her eyes. But as the water filled her lungs, and she started slipping into darkness, there was another strange feeling that burst in her mind like a ball of flames. Anger. Rage, even. Her last craving, before she drowned, was for revenge. For blood. And so she returned, reborn and changed. A cat widow, veiled in black, mistress of the cats. Her body of a young woman, but her eyes of a cat. And her face, white, rotten, face of a corpse. Those who saw it rarely lived to tell the tale. She would get her revenge on all cat killers and cat torturers. But there was someone she had to see first. Someone special. Someone she really hated the most. As the evening came, it was strangely quiet in the man's flat, as he lived alone. He usually liked to fill the silence with the sound of radio or TV shows. But that night, he switched them all off, feeling anxious and tired after work. He tried to sleep, but couldn't. And for once, there wasn't anyone there he could blame for it. As he stared through the window, he kept thinking about how much he hated that view. He liked it once, a long time ago, when his wife was still there and they were happy together. Suddenly, he heard knocking on the door. Some part of him was glad because that meant he could take it out on whoever decided to bother him. There was nobody there. He almost felt disappointed, but before he turned to walk away, he suddenly noticed something down the hall. The dead body of a disemboweled cat hung on the radiator. Are you kidding me? Where would we get a dead cat from? I think that would be taking it a step too far. I'm sure you'll agree. Okay, fair point. So, right, that didn't actually happen. Let's try again. On a nearby wall, there was a giant shadow of a cat. Scary. He stopped again. He couldn't believe his eyes. Someone wrote, asshole, on his door. Now I'm purposely choosing the wrong things because it's just funnier. Asshole? What are we like? Five? We're supposed to scare this guy shitless. Anyone could write asshole on the door. We need something better. Something that will remind him of cats? Alright. How about this? Someone wrote cat killer on his door. He had a passion for trains. Although he hated being a train driver, he had always enjoyed watching them move. That makes no sense whatsoever. 
But now, his train model was moving all on its own. Spooky. Must be ghosts. He was absolutely certain he'd left it switched off. And yet, there it was. Running at crazy speed. Remote control missing. Something was seriously wrong. And that something had entered his home now too. He hoped he was just imagining things, tired as he was. But there was another surprise waiting for him in his bedroom. A three foot dildo. A giant, blood soaked zombie cat sat on his bed. Now that's really stupid. Fair enough. That didn't really happen. Everyone knows there's no such thing as giant zombie cats, right? What really happened was this. Cat Widow is here was written all over the wall. As in a dream, he went to the kitchen to get a drink. There was no water. He knew there were valves in the basement that turned it off, but no one's been down there for years. He felt sick. None of this made any sense. And yet, deep down, he knew what he did to the cats was wrong. There was a part of him that almost wanted to be punished. Kinky. The part he tried so hard to hide. He thought he'd heard something in the corridor. Was there someone there with him? His head was spinning. He felt ambushed. Trapped like an animal. He had to get out of there. Getting really scared now, he decided to call the police. His phone was of no use. The SIM card had been removed, and that wasn't even the worst part. There was a photo of a black cat set as screensaver. I can think he of a lot remembered this cat. A lot worse. He'd watched that strange pest control man put it in a cage and into his van. He'd looked at it through the window for a while, then pulled the curtains and went to bed. He stopped, paralyzed. He'd heard something right in front of him. A whisper. More like a purr. She was there, in the dark corner of his living room, waiting. Black veil covering that pale, dead face. And yet, he could almost feel Cat Widow's eyes piercing through him. Cat Widow aimed a shotgun at his chest and fired. Really? Your sick imagination is running wild again, Mrs. A. Right, so that never really happened either. She came closer, like a ghost, and swiftly removed the veil. She came back for him, to take him to the river, to make him pay for what he'd done. As he looked into her eyes, he could feel the world spinning around him. His knees go weak, his pants suddenly wet around his crotch. As much as he hated life, he didn't want to die either. Inside, he was just a big, 
stinking coward. I used and to get wet when I look at dead he women. Fainted. Nothing, nothing makes my pants wetter than when I look at dead women. <laughs> Did you see his face? I knew he'd fall for this. Yeah, we scared the living shit out of him. Now that's teamwork. Are you sure he won't know it was you, though? Oh, he probably will, once he's had time to think about what happened. But he's too proud to ever admit he's been beaten by a woman. I know him just about enough to know that. That's also very kinky. Let's hope so. I don't want you to get in trouble because of me. No. That was something I had to do for myself. And I feel much better for it. The only problem now is that we still haven't found Eye of Adam. Because it definitely isn't Brian. I've searched through his laptop and all I found was a load of porn. Let's cross him off the list. Then it was me all along. Dun dun dun. It's me, I'm the killer. Well, that means we've checked everyone. We've hit a brick wall. Perhaps I was wrong. Maybe he doesn't live here at all. I think we need to sleep on it. And we might get some more ideas in the morning. Shall we head back home? Yeah, I do feel tired. You're right, we need some sleep. Really wish there was an elevator in this building. What's that? A note? What does it say, Mrs. A? You will not believe it. Meet me at midnight, both of you. I will wait. Flat five. Door will be open. Do not fear. Eye of Adam. Flat five. That's the old guy. Dun dun can't dun. Be. It can't be him. I guess we'll find out. At midnight. We've got a few hours until then. Let's get some coffee. You're not going to take the note off the wall. Off the door, even. Oh, okay. I did it by magic. That was a weird transition. Jesus. It's just you and me, my love. No one will find us here. Stop worrying, Ivy. It will be alright. I will always love you. You know that. I'm gonna make you all better. Chapter 7 There's just some, some random pictures of stuff, the moon, some weird doll. Okay, I don't know what that was about. Off 
we go anyway to flat five. It's twelve bong. I don't like the look of that water. There isn't a single fish in the tank. Just look at this door. Crazy son of a bitch. That's not going to stop us. I think there's someone in the kitchen. Are you... Are you Adam? Me? No, of course not. I don't have anything to do with all this foolishness. Never have. It's my son. I've told him time and time again, but he never listens. I've done my best to protect that boy, you know. I'm all he's got left in the world since his mama died, but it just wasn't enough. Where is he then? Where's I of Adam? He's in his room. Where else would he be? He's always in his room. Staring at that screen for as long as he can. Look, I've made up my mind about this. I want to help you. This mess he's in, it's gone too far. I don't, I, I, I can't be part of this. What are you talking about? Oh, you don't understand. He's watching us. Right now, he can see us on his camera. He's very clever with this stuff. I never got my head around it. Just as much as I needed to, I guess. But not a lot. Give us the key to his room. I want to talk to him. Look, it's a trap. He knows why you're here, and he will kill you. Both of you. But he will not kill me. He won't dare. All these years. I've looked after him well. He owes me everything. It breaks my heart to do this now. What choice do I have? He left me this. I was supposed to keep it for myself. But I want you to take it. He won't dare to kill his own father. And I won't let two innocent lives be lost because of him. What is it? Just take the damn thing. There's not much time. Didn't you hear me? He's watching. What is watch. it, Mrs. A? It's a shoebox. Take it away. Get rid of it. He must see that I don't have it anymore. Oh, well, okay. Shall we open it? I didn't see that box there. It's a gas mask. Oh god. Mitzi, we have to get out of here. Quickly. It's a gas mask. He's going to poison us. There goes the poison. It's too late! Shit. Oh, shit. Shit. Quick, shit. hide in the fridge. No! Stop that, Adam! You're going to kill your father! We'll never make it to the door. That room is filling up with gas too quickly. Put the mask on, Mrs. A. What about you? No, no, I can't! You've got to. This is your only chance. I... No. I can't let you die. Not like this. It's my fault that you're here. I'm dying anyway. And you... You've got to live, Mrs. A. You'll live and you'll be happy again. You are... You've been a great friend, Mrs. A. No. You've got a date. And I'll make sure you turn up for it. I can't. There is no time to argue. I'll be fine. Now. Do it! There you go.
goes to the old man. I don't, I don't know why you can't. Think of a vegetable while I'm gone. I don't know why you can't just hold your breath and walk out of the room. I mean, it really, that distance wasn't that, you know, that far really, was it? In all honesty, is that a couple of feet? Anyway, we're dead again, so we're back in the fields. There's parts of the apartment. And the old lady again. Welcome home, darling. I've been waiting for you. What took you so long? Say what you've got to say and let's finish this. I'm tired of you. Tired of all this madness. I just need to get back. Very well. I'm not planning to keep you long. Let's go inside. I have one last job for you. Kinky. There are still two candles left, Susan. You I know how this works. A soul for a soul. And that's it. I blow out the last candle, and I'll never have to see you again. Only if you blow out the right one, I'll never bother you again. Isn't that what you want? But if you choose wrong, it will be your life extinguished forever. Just take a deep breath and do it. But how should I know which one's right? That's the thing, Susan. You can't know that. In life, you can't always know the consequences before you make a decision. Haven't you learned that yet? That's not fair. Nothing is fair. You opened your heart talking to that doctor and he butchered you like an animal. Then those disgusting cannibals, they chop you up and cook you for dinner if you'd let them. And what about the man with the flowers? All that he wanted was to hear you play before he split your skull open. The way your husband treated you. The way your neighbors laughed at you for years just for being different. You did not deserve all that. And yet, it happened. Am I forgetting something? Oh yes, of course. Most of all, was it fair that... Shut up! Just shut up, you ugly bitch! Charming. Now I know who you really are. All those feelings that I had in me for years. That bitter guilt and self-pity. That hatred for myself and everyone else. You are that miserable illness that's consumed my heart all these years. You, always there, always. Every day I looked at you in the mirror, like a dark cloud I couldn't see through. I let you take control of my life. I believed it was right to feel like this. But not any longer. This ends here. Then blow out the candle. No, I won't. I'm done playing your stupid little games. You won't tell me what to do anymore. I am stronger than you. I can close my eyes and you'll be gone. Blow out the candle! It's time to say goodbye, sister. I'm not gonna miss you. You will never leave this place without me. You need me. We are fun. No. Flying headbutter. Tomato.
You were thinking about a tomato, right? That's not a vegetable. That's a fruit. Tomato is a fruit, silly. Who cares? I like tomatoes. Tomatoes are fucking awful. I. But I hate to disappoint you, but I was really thinking of onions. Why onions? They're the saddest of the vegetables, of course. They make people cry. Just like ogres. I... What happened, Mrs. A? I saw you die. And yet, you're here. Alive, like if nothing's ever happened. Well, let's put it this way. Everyone knows cats have nine lives. So do cat ladies, apparently. But this time, I feel there won't be second chances. I'm down to one last life now. I can't afford to waste it. You are such a nutter, Mrs. A. You are absolutely fucking bonkers. But I'm so happy to see you. Never, ever do that to me again, all right? I can happily promise you that, Mitzi. This is it. His room is through that door. It's time to face the Eye of Adam. What are we waiting for? Let's do it.